Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Janine Bailey and I am the director and co-founder of Empower World with my amazing business partner Marie Quigley and I'm here today to speak with Rachel Patero, uh, a fabulous a fabulous woman who is an incredible leader, inspirer, um, just a wonderful woman that, that has done our training. So this, this is why I'm so keen to bring Rachel on board today to, to speak to her and find out about her experience. So Kia ora. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you for being here. Kia ora, Janine, and thank you for having me. I, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, yours, obviously, working with you um, in this coaching space, but also having done your training um, with Empower World. So it's a real honour to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're, you're so welcome. And, I, and I, again, I really appreciate you being here and making the time because I know that you're incredibly busy at the moment. And uh, <laughs> lots on, lots on. Uh, and uh, so, so, Rachel, I wanted to ask you a few questions about, about the training um, so that you can share your experience to, again, inspire even more women to get involved, and men, of course, to get involved in, in something like this, this powerful um, coaching approach to, to our lives and to leadership. And uh, I know that you've had some incredible experience in New Zealand, uh, in the UK and potentially other places as well, uh, including Qatar, which is where we met, um, in that leadership space, supporting people, empowering people. I know that you were very aware of, of coaching, uh, what coaching is when you came to our training. And so I'm really curious to find out, because I know that there were some shifts and a change of direction, even though you're still targeting the same people, but in a different way. So I'm just curious about what was the thing that you discovered at the coach training that, that made a difference for you? Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right, Janine. I, I um, was aware of coaching. It was really part of um, a lot of the leadership development uh, programs that I've um, had the privilege of being part of designing, developing, and delivering. Um, and I think the shift for me coming into a coach training um, it, with Empower World in Qatar was really around the deeper, um, under the surface uh, training that you really supported us as participants to go through. So what I mean is that I'd done a lot of um, mentoring, I'd done a lot of um, leadership development. They hadn't really done any um, deeper work around emotion, around limiting beliefs, um, around purpose and vision that had really um, had that impact on me that it did um, with Empower World. So I believe it was the shift for me was really to go below the surface of um, what truly was going to be my um, real calling and my purpose. So yourself, Janine, and Marie really facilitated that shift for me. Mm. I think that was probably one of the biggest things that I, um, I recognize today and um, definitely while I was in the training um, in Qatar. Mm. Fantastic. And, uh, and, you know, it was wonderful to have you on board because, again, you were leading in the room in terms of going through, through your own journey. You were, you know, I loved, I loved the approach that you took, that it's not like I, I, know, I know everything. <laughs> um, you were absolutely prepared to explore and um, look at self as well as, as well as explore the skills and work with others. And, you know, you were very um, passionate about working with others and, and very quick to um, get the experience under your belt so that you could move into this place and space where you are right now. So, um, you know, I really, yeah. really acknowledge you for yeah. that. And the word that sort of, the thing that came up for me throughout that um, training, we had six days of face-to-face, -face, um, was really vulnerability. And by really opening up my heart, um, you know, my soul, bearing my soul and um, really connecting to a place that I hadn't really gone to, well, I had, but sort of hadn't stayed there for long enough. 
really explore. Mm. Um, really allowed others to do that as well. Mm. And I think um, when you when you witness someone being vulnerable, it gives us permission um, for the people who are witnessing that that shift for someone else to actually be vulnerable too. Mm. And it's in those moments that we are able to identify what that emotion is um, that we actually, for me especially, is where you see the growth, where you actually are able to identify something that maybe has been with you for a while, you know, because we all know we come from, you know, we come from different cultures, um, different mindsets, uh, different experiences and some of that can really shape um, who we become yeah. and so I was really ready um, in your training with Empower World to explore that you know and um, was quite happy to be vulnerable and, and with strangers actually men and women yes yes yeah. absolutely. from a diverse background as well yes very diverse yeah. So I really encourage and invite people to, um, no matter how much experience you have, no matter what you know, we can always um, we can always go on this learning journey. Um, so I believe in lifelong learning. Um, I believe in mastering things like coaching. However, it's, it is about continuing that journey so that we never really settle. And we're always searching for what else? What if, and um, and who else can I can I connect with to yeah master those skills that we really want to embrace? So I'm so grateful, so grateful. Mm, thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much for sharing that. And yes, as we know, the the journey of life can be a little bit strange at times, and uh, it, it is this mixture of of being in the present moment and really appreciating where we are right now but it's also about the journey of growth and expansion. Um, if we're not growing, if we're not expanding at some points in our lives, then we are going to definitely feel that there is something something missing. So, um, yeah. Yeah, and it can be scary. It can be quite, it can be, you know, when we're a bit fearful, sometimes we don't take an action. We just, you know, are, are quite okay with staying in that sort of comfortable space. But I think um, it's in those moments when we're able to face those fears and move through them or navigate our way um, around them, not not disregarding them because they're there for a purpose, yes. um, that we we will really see um, growth and um, personal growth and personal development. And once that happens for you, it actually will start to impact others as well. And, you know, you've experienced that. I experience it um, every day. And then I have a wonderful life where I get to experience it with um, everyone who else is coming through our coaching. So it's a really um, transformational experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, thank you so much for sharing those, those wonderful insights because as we know that, um, you know, it's through those vulnerable times, those, mm -hmm. those things that we potentially fear or, or don't want to go near when we explore those they actually they do make us incredibly um resilient stronger and it's almost like okay i i can i can take on whatever comes my way whatever challenges issues problems come my way i have the capability within to be able to overcome them i know i've got the strength within me so yes. um you know our courage shows up when we go through that vulnerable place. Um, it's the only time that we can be courageous when we experience something that potentially we fear or that we're, inco we're uncomfortable with. So, yes. Yeah. And, you know, only this morning I was reading the World Economic Forum report and um, there was some, there's some amazing research there now and it's, it's everywhere. But what I read this morning was that in terms of the future of work, um, automation, digitization, globalization, um, robots, artificial intelligence. So what are the skills that um, they believe today in the future of work that are going to be really important that actually won't um, wash away with all of this technology? 
And the things that they're talking about, Janine, are things that we are learning in our coach training, like compassion, empathy, um, really uh, sharing, uh, really understanding, caring. It's all of these um, innate skills that we're actually learning about and applying in our in our coach training. So, you know, if you think about it, if you were to invest in yourself in terms of skill sets, you would have to be thinking along the lines of um, coaching and leadership skills that are more around emotional intelligence, cultural intelligence, um, versus just the technical skills. So, you know, it's it's very real, it's happening, it's a global movement, and um, it's the right thing because now we're really starting to connect back into you know, what's really important, what is really important. Yeah, which is so important in this digital age yes. uh, where many are learning to turn off. <laughs> um, so it's becoming more and more important, as you say. So, Rachel, as a consequence of this amazing journey you've been on, um, I know that you've created something wonderful. So if you'd like to share briefly, you know, where this journey has led you, um, our audience and I would really appreciate hearing what's, what's unfolding for you. Yeah, so, um, again, it's, it's, a, it's a real honour to go through a process um, like what I have been with Empower World that really helped me to realise actually what I really truly want to do with my life. And so um, bringing all the experience of HR leadership um, now in that coaching space, um, being a bit uh, in business and, and an entrepreneur, it was, I was able to bring together um, a real a movement around giving access and um, visibility for Indigenous women to go on this coaching journey. And so by partnering with you, Janine, we are able to um, really start to shift the dial with um, upskilling Indigenous women to a internationally recognised credential in coaching through the International Coach Federation framework. But I think the uniqueness that we bring in the programme, which is called RISE 2025, is really that um, we're weaving Indigenous culture and values um, into the framework of ICF. So it's still a, an approved, credentialed um, program by ICF, thanks to all the great work that you and uh, Marie have done. But the uniqueness of RISE is really about the Indigenous um, piece. So we believe that um, everyone should have access to the skills and the techniques of coaching. And so our target audience, or definitely for me, my target audience is Indigenous women, because I'm Indigenous of New Zealand. I'm Māori, I'm very proud, um, like really want to be an ambassador of um, my culture globally. And so this program allows um, me, Janine, and other women coming through the program to go on this journey um, with us. So in New Zealand, we're working with Māori Pacifica and Asian women. Um, we've got some great irons in the fire at the moment in Canada and um, Hawaii and eventually, definitely Australia. Um, but it is about the relationships that we build. It is about um, staying on purpose, knowing that this will make a difference. And so, yeah, I'm really, it's just what I do every day. And um, being in this space has been, um, yeah, just wonderful for the last few years now. Uh, but the future is bright. The future is bright for coaching, for um, Indigenous women, and actually for uh, transformation in terms of where we're going as a, as a, um, as a global population. So, yeah, thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel, for sharing um, your amazing uh, journey of going through the training and, and where you're going in the future. And, yes, I am so... Uh, delighted and appreciative of being of partnering with you to do this this great work and uh, you know we've already had some wonderful experiences in New Zealand and uh, yeah looking forward to continuing that journey with you it's it's very exciting and as you say very bright so mm -hmm. thank you so much Rachel for your time and uh, I look I'm looking forward to seeing you very shortly yes. back in New Zealand yeah thanks so much Janine
My pleasure. All the very best.